guys, so it's really early, and yeah, that's all I have to say. It's early. It's like 5.09 in the morning, so I thought that today I would show you guys like what I eat like kind of on a typical day where I have to work. So I am at my job at the co-op, and normally I eat bananas in the morning, but today I did a little bit different, and I do eat oatmeal occasionally in the mornings. So I have some overnight oats that I made. So it's just oats. There's some date pieces in here, some chia seeds, shredded coconut, some maple syrup, a little bit of water, and some almond milk. So this is what I'll be eating in my car. I always have breakfast in my car. I just, I don't know. It's I know it's a little weird, but... I like having like my own like personal moment in the morning where I'm not being bothered by anyone. So it's really just easy for me to stay away from people in my car. So I'm gonna eat this oatmeal and I still have a little bit before I have to work. Uh, I always get to work early. I'm always very punctual. I always get here like uh, like a half an hour early. So I have like all this time to just kind of like unwind and kind of just get ready for the coming day. So I'm gonna eat this and then I will see you guys maybe I think at lunch. I'll see you at lunch. So I'm on my break at work and I'm just gonna eat some bananas. I got two of these and two more and some water. So I usually have bananas for lunch when I'm working, especially when I'm working here at the co-op. And I usually go for a walk afterwards. So I don't really like to sit in the break room on my break. It's really boring and I just end up sitting on my phone forever. So I always just take a walk to this place. Um, it's really close to a really big park. And they just have like this like conservatory, which is super pretty. So. That's where we're gonna go, because I've never went inside. I always just walk past it. Look how pretty it is. It's, there's a bigger one in Pittsburgh. This is a lot smaller, but it's still like amazing looking. These elephant ears are like larger than like half of my body. It's ridiculous. Look at that. That's huge. So yeah, that's why I take walks because it's so pretty instead of sitting in a grimy break room for like 55 minutes like sitting on my Facebook. Like this is amazing like to go out and like see stuff like this. Definitely should have went in there sooner. Okay, Jeff, snap out of it. Now you have to go back to work. Yay. Finally done with the work and I'm about to leave. I'm free and I'm gonna go home and I'm really hungry. So I think I'm gonna make some curry for dinner. So I'm home from work and I'm just snacking on some grapefruit right now. And I think I'm gonna start dinner soon or at least start prepping it because I have to go to bed early tonight. So. I want to snack on this, prep my dinner, I want to lift a few weights, and then 
finish dinner, eat dinner, and then kind of wind down before I head to bed tonight. So, okay guys, so I'm ready to start dinner and I got all my prep work done and I worked out and I got all my ingredients here. So I thought I'd show you everything before I get started. So tonight I am making something called alu gobi. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's pretty much potatoes and cauliflower. But I'm adding a whole bunch of extra ingredients because I have a lot of extra produce that I need to use up. So what I got going on in this bowl is some tomatoes, some poblano peppers for some heat, some just shredded carrots. I have some jalapeno here for some more heat. So this is going to be kind of spicy. And I got some red onions underneath there and some garlic and some ginger and some cilantro. And then I was over here I got some cauliflower and I also got some potatoes and for the spices I got just a really basic just regular curry powder and some cumin here and just a little bit of black pepper. So let's get started with this recipe. Okay guys, here is dinner, looks amazing. And this is just the pretty plate. I'm totally putting more curry on this. Okay guys, so it is almost bedtime. I don't wanna go to bed, but I have to work in the morning as usual. So I hope you enjoyed this little peek into what I eat in a day when I have to work. So if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe here at Lost in Vegetation to keep up with me, Jeff, and all my vegan content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Favorite one, so, but it was like really cheap. This was like $1.69, which is actually cheap for like almond milk. So I'll probably use this maybe like in an oat bowl.